Working in the watch space in Ghana, you have to take into consideration the impact of climate change. Climate change adaptation and then environmentally sound design should be a cardinal principles in the operations. We've seen how it is affecting the communities that we are working with. Most of the time, communities are cut off during flood events and we are not able to assess those communities until the district assemblies reconstruct the roads and then the bridges before we can re-engage the communities. We've also seen the impact of the climate change on their livelihoods, which is affecting the uptake of voice services. They lose their livelihood through floods, and then they are not able to raise enough funding to be able to pay for wash services. And then also in the dry season, the place becomes so hot that they are not able to make any meaningful life in those communities. We have also seen some of the community members moving away from their communities because they are affected by climate change in both ways. We have to create room for communities and families to be able to adapt to the changes in the environment. These days, we have to ensure that the communities that we are working with understand the issues of climate change so that they will be able to build resilient, uh, climate resilient facilities that will serve them for a longer period. The effect of climate change on project implementation is on um, different levels. For projects like our wash implementation, for instance, we now have to be more flexible in planning for wash services. You have to understand that you need to plan with the community on how to be able to um, adapt to the changes in the environment, which means that you may have to spend more time working with these communities. You may have to educate them on climate change adaptation. You may have to educate them on how to protect their water sources, the wetlands, and also the river bodies. We have to have mitigation measures, climate change mitigation measures, as part of project implementation. It may be expensive to implement, but I think when we plan for it, the donor community will also understand that in order to have sustainability, climate mitigation should be part of WASH projects. One of the main challenges we've seen as a WASH practitioner is that these days boreholes are drying up. And they are not drying up because the volume of rains we have receiving have changed. No, it is because the intensity comes within a short period. So most of the time, the water that wetlands and rivers receive have gone down, which is affecting the recharge of aquifers. So in planning the project, you have to take all these things into consideration, which will mean that you may have to drip deeper boreholes, you may have to build um, latrines which has a foundation raised to be able to withstand these changes. It will help us to build back better, it will help us even build zero carbon um, wash services, but it will come at a cost and we have to be ready for that.